Death to America was one of many messages spray painted on West County homes this week. Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes discovered police and prosecutors have already found out who's behind it. The vandalism covered garage door signs and even a pickup truck in this area of Baldwin near Oakwood Farm and Renke. The suspect, a 19 year old who lives one block from here. It's the most frustrating thing, you know, you get a, you get a wake up call in the middle of the night, you come out and you kind of try to de determine what happened and, and then uh, you don't really see the full extent of it until the sun comes up. Chris Conway's fence is one of about a dozen examples of spray painted vandalism. I kind of feel a little pressure to kind of get it cleaned up as best I can, being the first house in our neighborhood and uh, it's just really frustrating. And then just some added pressure being on the corner here. Throughout the Oakwood Farm subdivision, you'll see garage doors spray painted blood. Some neighbors have cleaned up the spray paint, but you can still see the images. Even landscaping lights and signs are tagged. Walked through the whole neighborhood and saw multiple homes that were vandalized. Delia Overschmidt took pictures, including this now cleaned up example that says death to America. It just made me feel nervous that, you know, sometimes in the evening I walk my dogs. Am I going to be safe walking through my neighborhood as well? Then they learned the suspect lives in the neighborhood, just 10 houses down from one of the homes he vandalized. So that was news to me. Um, I thought maybe it was something from the city, um, you know, but obviously this young man, he's, he's got some issues and I hope he gets help. Court records show Baldwin police caught up with 19-year-old Daniel James Fleming the night he was vandalizing homes, Tuesday, September 21st. An officer said he was riding a bike and carrying a backpack of spray paint. He's now charged with felony property damage. An officer wrote the defendant admitted he had been spray painting in the area. He said he had done so because he was bored. He falsely told police he was 16 years old and provided false names and false addresses before admitting his true identity and address. It hurts to hear that it was someone from our own neighborhood. Conway took time off from work to try wiping away the memory of what happened. It's devastating. You know, we, we, we take care of our neighborhood. We a lot of great people that live here and take care of their place. And it's just sad to see. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.